Hello, Isaac. I'm Hamish Todd. I'm a game developer and mathematical biologist, and I'm really, really sorry that I've not been able to join you. I was offered a job here at the International Rice Research Institute in the Philippines working on the C4 Rice Project, and that was not something that I could turn down. I'm just extremely lucky that Moirik Bynon, who, who should be standing somewhere near the screen that you're watching me on, is pretty much the most supportive and kind and spirited academic that I have ever met, and he has stepped in to present my work. And now I'll just say a few things about my work. So I want to communicate scientific and mathematical ideas in ways that are concise and clear and allow people to see beautiful things without having to feel confused. I believe that interactive computer programs are a particularly excellent and neglected way of communicating those scientific and mathematical ideas, which is why I've made a few programs that do this. They communicate using instructive level design techniques taken from the video games that I consider most fun and also ideas from documentaries and the work of a guy called Brett Victor are integrated into my work. To be more specific about the video game influence of it, I'd like you all to consider the game Portal, which I believe changed the nature of human communication forever. In Portal, players have a lot of fun learning some ideas that I would describe as mathematical ideas, and they learn those ideas without being instructed verbally by anyone, right? Portal has no annoying text boxes at all, just puzzles, simple puzzles at the beginning, and then ones at the end that combine many behaviours together to get new ones, just like what happens in science. And then there are puzzles in between that do clever things like manipulating the player into certain accidents that will cause unexpected and educational things to happen. Portal is a game about expressing things to you. It wasn't the first game to express things in active and non-verbal ways, but it was pretty much the first really fun game that was fundamentally about learning. And if you haven't already, please play Portal. It isn't enough just to watch trailers. Since Portal came out, there have been many games that have used the same instructive level design style with different mechanics. And my own favourite is a game called Perspective, which you can download for free on the internet. But games of more interest to educators include Incredipede, Bond Breaker, and soon Mia Gakure, that have used mechanics from science and mathematics and have therefore taught people useful and amazing things in this Portal-inspired way. Now, my ambition is to go one step further than games like Mia Gakure by taking some cues from Brett Victor and documentary makers, like I say. Again, I wanted, to, I wanted to make players learn things from interactions without requiring any verbal instruction, which I consider boring. But then on top of it, I wanted a documentary-style narration that tells them facts about math, science and mathematics. My projects in this direction include the game Music of the Spheres, which is not on show here, but was a successful educational puzzle game that contained not a single word of instruction. I also made The Stranger Loop, a prototype game in which the player learns topology from, again, self-directed interactions, but then from a separate narration that tells them facts about their situation. One project I did with Moirig took a scientific paper and made it interactive, and that project is on show. Although I will say that I was pressed for time there, and I ended up using far more verbal instruction than I intended to. My current project, which is again on show, will be an interactive documentary about the mathematics of virus shell patterns. I've not yet recorded the narration, but I have successfully taken an important mathematical model from virology and implemented it in a game that you can play with. So thanks for listening, everyone. Uh, please check out my projects, perhaps on my website, musicofthespheresgame.com. And once again, thank you to Morik, to whom I probably owe my firstborn child for doing this. And now I'll get back to work, so I'll say goodbye. So just as a footnote to him, just talk, there's a poster across here in which he's basically showing you some of the games in particular that have influenced him. There's one on there, which is the one he refers to, which was assessed work done for a module that I taught him last year, in which he took this scientific paper and made an animation from it, which in a sense was a, an alternative to reading the paper. It was a way of taking you through and demonstrating quite deep mathematical concepts to do with a Klein bottle and linking this to some <coughs> neuroscience about perception of lines and directions of lines. Um, so, 
there are links to these things on the web if, if you should look at, wish to look at them further. I can certainly tell you where to find out about them. Okay, thank you. Okay. So if you're going to look at that, and I'll let you. Thank you.